It's tough. Is it challenging? Of course. But guess what? If God is with me, who could be against me? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Denisha. I'm at work again. I don't know why that toy just started talking. That was weird, but anyway. It's your girl, Denisha. I'm at work again. Hold on, let me try to turn this toy off, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I don't know what that was about. But anyway, I'm at work again, of course. But I just wanted to give y'all a little quick life update. As I mentioned in my Sunday reset video, I think it was, I am starting school to be an EMT. And I just want to let y'all know kind of how that's been going and how it has been mentally going and stuff so um tuesdays we have class online it's like a four hour lecture and then thursdays we go in person for three hours and it's like the class is not terrible it's just that it is a lot of work when i say it's a lot of work i'm more so mean like it's a lot of reading i'm talking about like it's a whole lot of reading reading has never really been my strong suit i mean i could read but i don't necessarily read fast but i will say a part of that could be me not reading as often so I mean, I do look forward to bettering my reading skills, so it's like a win-win, but yeah, it's been something. I've been having to balance everything, you know, church, work, life, working out, school, everything. But, I mean, it is what it is. Let me show y'all some of the tools we use in the class. Y'all could pretty much call me a doctor because... We use this blood pressure thing, as y'all probably have seen this at the doctor's office. Of course, you wrap this part around the patient's arm and then you use this to pump it up. And then you check their blood pressure with this little thing here. And then, of course, you have seen a testoscope at a doctor. Use this to check their lung sounds, check their heart, check their breathing, all that. And I'm realizing that more and more EMTs pretty much do what doctors do. I mean, not to the full extent, of course, but we do a great deal of what doctors do. And I don't know, I'll be feeling all sophisticated and stuff in my own uniform and all. I put a picture on my community post, on my community thingy, of me in my uniform. But um, I'll probably show you guys me getting dressed. Because I do have class tonight. It's Thursday. I have to go in person on Thursday. So I'm about to put my uniform on. I'll probably show you all that. Today, I am going to be asking some of my coworkers to get their blood pressure because we have a homework assignment where we have to get we have to get the vital signs of 10 people. And so I'm going to be asking some of my coworkers. I'm not going to be recording that. I wish I could, but I'm already kind of invading their privacy by asking for blood pressure and all that, blah, blah, blah. So to ask that on top of can I record, that's kind of just too much, so I ain't gonna do all that. But next clip, y'all probably are gonna see me getting ready for class. So catch y'all then. Oh, and y'all, at work, we just did like a spruce up every year. We clean up the building like a deep clean and we closed down for a few days. And today is the first day that we open back up. And let me show y'all how it's looking. Like it looks so good in here. They wax the floors and everything. Let, let me show y'all. Look how shiny that floor is. And we getting more toys. I know it's kind of empty in here right now. And then they added like this projector thing over here. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know. Let me see how this. I gotta try to figure out how to turn it on because I don't know how to work it. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Okay, so the projector is up there. And it's supposed to be like an interactive game that shows on the floor right here. But I have no idea how to turn it on. But um, once I figure it out, <laughs> I'll show y'all. I know it's like a remote that goes to it, but I don't know where it is. So it's all good. But yes, y'all, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next clip. Sometimes I don't know if you hear what I pray Sometimes I don't know if you hear what I say Sometimes I wonder what's the plan for me Do you got a plan for me? Then I hear you say you got big plans 
but we're gonna talk to the vlog now. What's up vlog? We just got out of class. I'm sorry it's dark, but we get out of class kind of late, so. No time. You always mean to the people. Be nice to them, tell them you love them. Tell the people you love them. I'm just saying, they'll get nice. Anyway, so let's kind of talk to them and tell them what we think of the class so far. What's your opinion? My thing is this, they move at a very fast pace and they got a lot of terminology and what do I mean by terminology? It's just like, uh, like their terminology. Right My bad, I'm driving. But basically, they say things and they expect us to get it or understand it. And I don't understand it. And so right now, if you want to be completely honest, it feel like an AP class. Those who took AP or dual credit uh, classes in high school, that's what it feels like. Everything is super paced, super fast. Not only that, too, we're, I'm doing a bodybuilding competition. I'm doing a whole bodybuilding competition while I'm going to work 5 a.m. to 1.30. So it's pretty tough, but I love it. I like the challenge. I love the challenge. I love it because at the same time too, it's just like this is where God get his glory. Because even though all these things come in against me and forming against me, God got me. And I know faith, faith without works is dead. And so I got faith that I'm gonna get to it and I'm gonna work for it. Cause I believe that I will be great and I will honor God and I will get through this with uh, flying colors. I'm a go getter, I believe. There's one thing about me. I, I believe that I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. Philippians 4.13, I believe that. And so it's tough, is it challenging? Of course, but guess what? If God is with me, who could be against me? Romans 8.31, quote that. You know what, put that, put that, that's your title. Wow. Wow. Well, like that. He's he preaching, y'all. Ah. Wow. But <laughs> That's yeah. That's really embarrassing on camera. Hopefully, Victor don't watch it. <laughs> I hope he does. <laughs> no, but I agree. It, it, they move really fast, it, and it's it's really a lot of material, and like you said, terminology. But at the end of the day, anything that's worth fighting for is going to be a challenge. And so we just got to get to it with the work. Who told you that? That was a famous quote that you got from somebody. No, it's not. Give me my props. Why are you not giving me my props, bro? I didn't hear that from you. You heard it from me. I heard that from life. You heard that from me because I'm part of your life. Remember that. I heard that before I met you. No, you didn't, bro. Anyways. And also, like they mentioned in class, we do have an advantage because we have each other. Miles. Keep left onto I-90 East towards 79th Street. I have my bad. We have each other to study with, you know, and he, our instructor was mentioning the fact that people in class, they can go home and try to study with family members or loved ones or whatever, but they won't know what they're talking about nine times out of ten like we would know since we are literally in the same class doing the same thing so we do have an advantage we just have to use it to our what's the word use it to the use our advantage to the best of our ability oh yeah facts. so oh yeah and my bad too if i seem like i'm out of character i just had some sugar right. i never i never eat candy but the reason why i ate candy is for the simple fact that I'm extremely tired. You've been up all day. I've been up since 3.30 in the morning, but not only that too, I worked out extremely hard and I didn't allow my muscles to recover. And so I'm really tired, I'm really fighting fumes. I do this every day, but today I feel a little bit worse than normal. And so I hate eating some candy, you know what I'm saying? I don't eat candy. I had now later. Sponsor me now later. So it's right, a big, big small guy. But anyway, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. Now we're about to get something to eat from this place called Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Something, something like that. And I'm probably gonna show y'all what we get. And yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, I love y'all. Okay, vlog, it's the next day and I'm getting ready to go to the gym before work. I was gonna show y'all what we got to eat last night, but it wasn't nothing special. The place we were gonna go to was closed. So we just ended up getting something from, something small from Dunkin' Donuts. So it wasn't nothing special. But I am about to go work out. I'm not bringing my camera with me because I don't like attention y'all and I'm trying to get used to having my camera in public but I'm not there yet so I'm just gonna probably record on my phone there is gonna be a quality difference so forgive me on that but I'm gonna get this content for y'all okay so I'm gonna catch y'all at the gym what's up y'all we have finally made it to the gym today I worked on legs now I'm having this really bad knee pain in my right knee so y'all if y'all can please pray for me I do need to go see a doctor to see what's going on because I cannot lift as heavy as I would like due to that knee pain so yes I'm gonna go to the doctor and see what's going on but yes I'm about to hit legs y'all can feel free to ask me any questions you have on the best leg exercises for growing your 
lower half of your body. But yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. Mwah. Never gonna catch my vibe if you're decided on residing in the superficial. I can't get with you, that's official. Statements I'm approving of the message. They've been wanting me to keep it ritual or individual. As if my flaws were not quintessential. Love the grace he's giving. I'm just saying, man. I've been moving quiet. What's up, vlog? I just finished my workout. I'm tired. I haven't worked out in the last three days and I feel it. <laughs> but it's okay, y'all. I'm trying to get back in my groove. I sweated my hair out a little bit, but I'll be okay. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. Um, I'm about to freshen up and everything and get ready for work. I already showed y'all somewhat of work yesterday. Well, not really. I guess I could show y'all a little bit more, but because I figured out how to work that game. So. Yeah, I'm about to catch y'all in the next clip. Okay, y'all, so I'm back at work. I was getting ready to show y'all this projector game that they installed, but again, I don't know where the remote is. And when, by the time we get the remote, you know, when my supervisor brings it in here, it be kids in here, and I'm not finna record while there's kids in here, obviously. But I'm just show y'all. So that's where the projector is, and pretty much, like, it projects onto the floor. And like, it's like an interactive type of thing. So kids can literally like stump their feet on the game while they playing. And it's really fun. I'm really glad we added that because these kids, they need more things to play with. But we getting this together. We are getting this together. But yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm about to start work. It is currently, I'm recording on my phone, so I don't know, let me see. It's 7.43 and I started at eight, so yeah. Probably finna order me some coffee, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, y'all, I ain't doing nothing for real. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna have to really study because as we was telling y'all yesterday with school, it's a lot of material. But the best way I could prepare myself is really just to study, you know, and stay on top of things, stay ahead of things. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna get to work and I'll catch y'all later. Don't you sleep on me, I shoot espresso to your eyelid Rather see me gone away, they say I'm cooped up They profiling, my provider find a way Just like Elijah on the mountain, yeah Hands 